The problem with tokens are compatibility. Microsoft uses software tokens. Several of the ones that are used are provided through NTLM, the NT LAN Manager protocol, also with the various chat protocols. Kerberos also uses different tokens. And if not careful, it's possible that my tokens can be subject to what's called a man-in-the-middle attack, especially for earlier versions of both Kerberos and NTLM. Man-in-the-middle attacks occur when an attacker listens and waits for a client to request authentication services. In other words, you sit down at your computer and you attempt to log on to a server. Unbeknownst to you, however, instead of the server answering, a hacker answers fast and before the server has an opportunity to. You think that the attacker is the legitimate server and you send your logon request to that server. Because of the way earlier protocols were implemented, if I could pretend to be a valid server, it was easier for me to hack the hash. In other words, easier for me to determine what the actual username and password of the client was. Now, why didn't the user find out that this attack was going on? Because the man in the middle would actually pass the legitimate logon request to the server. It acted as a middleman, so to speak. But in the process, it learned your secure confidential information. Keep in mind that Microsoft's implementation of these tokens is proprietary, although backwards compatible, especially with Kerberos. There is Kerberos servers for Unix and other platforms, but they don't support all of the extended features that Microsoft